Welcome to Mr. Peacock and Friends Hidden Treasures. We're wondering what you're going to be doing today. Today I'm going to take you to wash some clothes. I don't want to wash clothes. Oh, I'm going to show you a way to wash clothes that have not been done in a long time. Shall we go see somebody wash clothes? Let's go and show them. Okay. It's the Maytag Bowl. We're in the Maytag Park across from the Maytag Pool. So I think the Maytag was pretty big in Newton. And this is the lonely Maytag repairman. And boy, he's having a good old time sitting here taking a nap in this beautiful park because, as you recall, the commercial always had him waiting for someone to call because the product Maytag was so good, it never needed repair. That's right, and I think he's pretty cool, but we don't want to wake him from his nap. Shh! Don't be noisy. We are in Newton, Iowa, and behind us is the Jasper County Historical Society's museum that houses the famous Maytag Museum artifacts. That's right, we're gonna see if we can find the very first Maytag washer made. We're gonna see if we can find the last Maytag washer made in Newton. And I wanna check everything out, can we go? Let's go check it out. Okay. We found the Maytag guys who were in the commercials and the guy I remember is right at the end Gene White, and there he is. Yep, there he is. I remember him. I remember Gordon Jung. I remember Hardy Rawls. But I don't know this young guy. Do you like pink washers, Mrs. Peacock? I really like the pink washer and dryer. I think it's great. I really want one. Here's the first Maytag dishwasher. 1914. 1909. This is the last washing machine made in Newton. Right behind us is the first Maytag washer. It's made of wood, but it was in 1907. Mrs. Peacock, tell us some more. Well, 1907 was the first washing machine. However, Frederick Lewis Maytag and his two brothers-in-law contributed $600 for a total of $2,400 to start a new farm implement company. They made thrashing machines and farm equipment. Most people have no clue that this was not his first invention. First invention was farm equipment. Then he made the washing machine and it grew from there. This is what we call a creative gentleman. He had a knack for knowing what would go, and he sure made it happen. And I can't even imagine the jump from farm machinery to a washing machine. I guess maybe because he was a farmer and he needed to clean his clothes, and maybe he was a lot faster having a washing machine done this way. And by golly, if it wasn't for him, I'm sure we probably would be at the creek with our scrub boards doing our laundry that way. I don't think that would be fun. No, it would not be fun. But let's look around some more. Right by Mrs. Peacock is the Maytag grain grater and cleaner. That's right, it's very interesting. And the history, you need to come to the museum and read about it. It's extremely interesting. You've just seen the Maytag Museum in Newton, Iowa. Yes, it was fun to see all those washing machines. It was even more fun to learn that their first invention was farm equipment. I was so surprised to see that wooden washing machine, which was their first. Yeah, that's true too. And I am so glad we don't have to use washboards in the creek anymore. Time's up, you've got to go. So until next time, Mr. Peacock and friends, we'll see what's happening on the Peacock Farm. Right, Mr. Peacock? I can't wait to get on our next hidden treasure trip. See you later. If you like our videos, please subscribe, like, and share with all your friends. 